I'm Maggie. I'm a co-op student. I go to Carleton University and I'm working in the Clean Water Lab this summer, working with different coatings to reduce biofilm growth. Uh, biofilm is just a thin layer of bacteria that just forms mostly, uh, in this case, in what its surface is. The main research question that we're kind of trying to answer with this project is we're comparing two different uh, graphene coatings. So we're testing, we're comparing the two of them, kind of trying to determine which one better reduces biofilm growth. So they're hoping to produce it commercially to be used for coatings on the inside of pipes and on the hulls of ships. Biofilm can also introduce the right environment for opportunistic pathogens to grow on them too. It's a problem that rages all types of industries. We have two reactors that are hooked up in parallel. Um, each one houses the different uh, graphene coatings. The, there's an inner cylinder that spins at 60 RPM and then we have water flowing through the reactors. With that we're able to simulate the marine environment so that we're letting in a period of 10 weeks uh, biofilm grow in these reactors. We have polycarbonate, we call them coupons, but they're just pieces of plastic basically. And they've on one side they've been coated with the, the graphene coating and then that's the they slide into the reactor and then as the reactor spins uh, biofilm attaches to it. That's the surface that we uh, swab to um, remove the biofilm to perform tests. We were halfway through our experiment so far. As each week there is more and more biofilm on it, we've been taking the masses of the coupons to determine the mass of the biofilm, and yeah, every week it's, it's going up. I've, I've learned so much working the lab this summer. I, before coming here, I haven't had a lot of experience, especially working in a lab like this. It's, uh, it's been a great experience and uh, a little bit intimidating to be honest. Uh, my background is in mechanical engineering and going to work into the environmental uh, field. It's, it's, it has just brightened up my, my perspective and, and there's a lot that I need to learn but it's very exciting and the environment at the lab is fantastic. Uh, everyone is very warm and, and willing to help. Usually you know in classes you, you would get an experiment given to you and then you just have to run the experiment so thinking about all the steps that you have to take when designing an experiment and preparing equipment and it's very rewarding to like to have be able to set up an experiment yourself and finally get it going. I think I've just I've had a really great group of people to work with. They're they're always there to help, which is really nice.